The neutron was discovered shortly after, in 1932, and it has approximately the same mass as the proton, but is neutral in charge. A good way to remember all... Today we're delving into Unit 2.2 of the first half of general chemistry, which goes over atomic structure. In the last unit, 2.1, we discussed John Dalton and, and his four rules for atomic theory. These rules were based on the tests and observations he made in his laboratory. However, he never published any proof that these atoms actually existed. As time went on, scientists got more advanced, and this atom started to become more visible, complex, and it became clear that there were subatomic particles. The first subatomic particle that was discovered was the electron by J.J. Thomson in 1897. Electrons are negatively charged subatomic particles that are common to all elements and are almost one two thousandth of the mass of the other subatomic particles. They are also the particles that are responsible for electricity. The subatomic particle proton was discovered next in 1919 and was the positively charged counterpart to the electron but contains approximately 2,000 times the mass. The neutron was discovered shortly after in 1932 and it has approximately the same mass as the proton, but is neutral in charge. A good way to remember all this is the P for proton being positive, NEU in neutron is for neutral, and the electron is the only one left being negative. These discoveries ultimately led to the nuclear model in the nuclear model, the protons and neutrons, which contain almost all the mass of the atom, are in the nucleus in the atom, while the electrons are spread out of the nucleus and are responsible for most of the volume of the atom. One way to visualize this volume distinction is if you imagine a hydrogen atom as the size of a football field, the size of the nucleus is a marble placed on the field. Oftentimes in chemistry, you'll see protons and electrons with charges of plus one and minus one. This is just for convenience sake, since they are equal in charge but opposite in sign. Another simplification in chemistry with subatomic particles deals with their masses. Because the masses are extremely small, we created the atomic mass unit, AMU, where one AMU equals 1.66054 times 10 to the negative 24th grams. Protons weigh approximately 1.0073 AMUs, neutrons are 1.0087, and electrons are 5.486 times 10 to the negative fourth AMUs. So what makes the atoms of one element different than those of another? Fundamentally, it is the number of protons in the nucleus of that atom. That number of protons is the element's atomic number. Since atoms don't have a net positive or negative charge, there is the same number of electrons as protons. However, the number of neutrons of an element can vary. For example, with carbon, there are six protons and in most cases, six neutrons. Since the protons and neutrons weigh approximately the same, the relative mass can be stated as 12, six plus six, which we call the mass number. Other atoms of carbon can have seven neutrons or even eight, which would give the mass numbers 13 and 14 respectively. The atoms with differing number of neutrons are called isotopes of each other. Some problems to think about after going through this unit are, what is the atomic number of tin? A specific atom has 79 protons, 118 neutrons, and 79 electrons. What is the mass number? A specific atom has 79 protons, 118 neutrons, and 79 electrons. What element is this? Thank you so much for spending your valuable time learning and bettering yourself. If you like the video and want to learn more, donate, or get tutoring, please check out my website, nocollegeneeded.org. You can use the code NCN for 20% off tutoring and any supplemental materials. If the subject isn't up yet, please be patient. I'm working on bringing them up as soon as I can.